Welcome to Fertile Minds. My name is Louise Fay and I'm a fertility specialist with IVF Australia. Today I'm going to talk about thinking of having a baby at the age of 35 or over. Most first time mums in metropolitan Sydney are usually around the age of 33. Things to consider when we're having a baby over 35 are a few things in terms of getting pregnant, having a healthy pregnancy. Some women may have pre-existing conditions that may make their pregnancy more complicated and have already had a pre-pregnancy planning consultation, either with their medical specialist, their GP, a fertility specialist, or a specialist in maternal fetal medicine in obstetrics. As you know, as we get older, for women having a baby over 35 may take a little bit longer because at the age of 35 and over, our egg quality starts to decline. This can prove to be problematic for some women who already have known gynecological conditions that may affect fertility, such as endometriosis. From the age of 35 and over, getting pregnant can be a little bit challenging. It may take six months to get pregnant, it may take 12 months to get pregnant, it may take 18 months to get pregnant. Sometimes people do need fertility assistance after approximately six to 12 months. One can always discuss everything with their GP at an opportunistic moment, such as having their routine pap smear, for example, or if they're talking about family planning in the context of birth control, when's a good time to have a baby. When women do get pregnant after 35, for majority of women, pregnancy is very straightforward. In the first trimester, the risk of miscarriage is a little bit elevated from 35 and over versus up to the age of 35. So say for example, under the age of 35, the risk of miscarriage is approximately 20 to 25%. And this does increase as we get older. It is up to one in two women who get pregnant over the age of 40. We talk about advanced maternal age by definition over the age of 35 but it is quite true advanced maternal age having your first baby over the age of 40. This is not uncommon nowadays as people do seek to have children older and later in life. Knowing that the pregnancy is ongoing from the end of the first trimester is usually a wonderful experience. We focus on diet, we focus on well-being, we focus on mental well-being. Having a healthy pregnancy is very important. There are some conditions that are more common in women as they get pregnant older. Medical disorders in pregnancy can be more common in women who get pregnant over the age of 35. These commonly would be disorders such as blood pressure. This is either gestational hypertension or preeclampsia. Some women might have a strong family history and may need to take low dose aspirin from early pregnancy. Some women might have pre-existing conditions that might increase their risk, such as chronic hypertension or kidney disease. It is a good idea to discuss pregnancy planning with your GP or your specialist if these conditions are pre-existent. Other conditions can increase your risk of pregnancy over 35, such as gestational diabetes. We do recommend early screening at the end of the first trimester for gestational diabetes. Women more at risk of diabetes in pregnancy are women who have conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, women who are from Southeast Asian origin, and women who have a strong family history of diabetes later in life, called type two or non-insulin dependent diabetes. For this reason, it is good to focus on diet in the terms of a low GI diet from pre-pregnancy onwards. Overall, having a baby over the age of 35 usually has wonderful outcomes, a healthy mother and a healthy baby. If you have any questions regarding pregnancy planning over the age of 35, please feel free to contact IVF Australia to talk to a fertility specialist who is able to address these questions. Thanks for watching and don't forget to press the subscribe button if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment.